and factories upon them deliberately. To put a stop to the quietness, all the thoughts, all the preoccupations, what is it all for? It is to put an end to quiet, to break it to pieces, disperse it, to pretend at any cost that it is not there. It is still there, in spite of everything, at the back of everything, lying awake at night, not restlessly, but serenely. It re-establishes itself, piece by piece, all the broken bits we have been so busily dispersing all day long. An inward quiet, like the outward quiet of grass and trees. crystal, a growing crystal. It expands. It becomes more perfect. It is beautiful and terrifying. You are alone in the crystal. There is no support from the outside. There is nothing external and important. Nothing external and trivial to help you. There is nothing to laugh at or feel enthusiasm for. But the quiet grows. Something inexpressively beautiful and wondrous advances through the crystal. And inexpressively terrifying. If you were to touch it and be seized by it, you would die. All of the regular, habitual daily parts of you would die. 